Hi, I'm here with Oliver Kuttner, who is the winner of the second X Prize ever, the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize. He's one of the three winners. He won in the mainstream class $5 million uh, with the Edison 2 vehicles behind us. Oliver, welcome and thank you, buddy. Thank you, Peter. It was a great journey. It has been and it's just beginning, obviously, for you and for your colleagues. So, for those people uh, who are wondering, were you in the automotive industry already and this X Prize just came along, uh, what effect did this $10 million purse have on you? It, it, was, uh, it was the money that got our attention. I, I would say I was in a related industry. I was deeply engulfed in, in racing, motorsports, had friends in aerospace, air, air, airplane design. But no, uh, we were not mainstream automotive people. And uh, it's the, the size of the purse that got me thinking and got me to pull together this dream team. And when you heard originally that an XPRIZE could help catapult you and could deliver benefits to the entrepreneurs, did you believe that idea in the beginning? I actually believed you. I believed you in the long sense. Uh, I heard you make a lot of predictions about how uh, you, know, you would get exposure, you would create relationships, and money would start flowing. And it's, it's scary how absolutely true your predictions were because we lived it every moment. Every month or every two months, I would remember what, something you said and be like, yep, here it is. You know, and uh, I thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure, my friend. So let's talk about what the impact has been. Has, uh, has being in this competition helped you bring uh, investors in? And if so, can you tell us what is... Yeah. Tell us about that a little bit? But we don't talk about money, and that's because I believe in... Uh, good positive valuations for the people who work with me. The reason I can raise money, I'm a real estate developer in 2010, and the reason I can raise money for what is a, you know, definitely not pre-proven concept uh, in a time like this is because I have a very, very long track record uh, of always delivering a positive result. And the same will happen. You sure did here. <laughs> While the, the people who invested in this were now getting ready to close the second round. Uh, it was a good experience for them and it has a long way to go. And just like you said, Peter, it's, you know, it's, it's gonna go into the tens and I believe it'll be into the hundreds of millions of dollars with this project. But you know. uh, so just to be clear, was having a competition and the structure of a competition useful for attracting uh, investors and attracting team members versus if you had just wanted to go do this on your own? You compress time. You. You know, you have that slogan, accelerating development. You, you, it, it is unbelievable. I mean, there were times when I would actually curse your people, telling <laughs> us we had to produce this 70-page document for this and a document for that. But you know, all those documents made us think early. And you know what? We're using the answers from those documents every day now. And it, it, I think that your competition is much more than money. It compresses time. It forces uh, focus, and uh, it just connects the dots. And Fantastic. Don't tell us how to do it, and that's the great difference. Talk about that a second. The, the, the industry today has gotten into a system where everything has, everything has to be pre-approved, everything has to be following a, a vision. Well, if somebody in a boardroom decides how it's going to happen, then you're restricting your engineers. Peter, you don't restrict us. You only tell us what we have to deliver at the end. And I believe it's that is one of the key benefits of the of A the clear, solution. measurable, objective goal. And I don't care how you hit it, but if you hit it, you win. That's correct. And it's, it's brilliant. Um, I, I, you told a story yesterday in Chairman Markey's uh, uh, congressional testimony about uh, your visit to General Motors. And I was just amazed. I had not heard it before. Would you, would you tell uh, the audience about that story? So what happened at GM? Well, we've had a lot of visits. GM is my ambition of a connection. I love this country. GM is, to me, the epitome of the American industrial company. And I would love to work with them and help them come out of the ashes and, and be a part of that. I believe GM is going to win uh, and win big. Um, now, that said, uh, we've had a couple of meetings at General Motors with people at high level and we were invited to the AeroLab. And I think it was a job interview. What is the AeroLab? The AeroLab is perhaps, it's the largest wind tunnel on the planet. And in my, it's perhaps one of the most sophisticated. It's a 
facility that would cost a quarter billion dollars to build today. It's a beautiful facility. It's the reason it was right to uh, help General Motors not disintegrate. Uh, it, things like that cannot be replicated easily. The AeroLab is a group of scientists and smart people who refine what the marketing people and the design people come up with and make it more efficient. Uh, we brought our car to the AeroLab at the invitation of General Motors and uh, the head of aerodynamics was on vacation but he decided to drop in for a few minutes just to see how it's going because everybody knew this was a really strange thing coming that hadn't been there before. He uh, came at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and he left at 2.30 in the morning. Wow. It was a spectacular experience. Uh, the gentleman is a brilliant so he's, he's engineer. On he's on vacation and he comes and he spends really 10, 10 hours with you. Yes, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, GM is going to be a winning company. So how, what were the results, what those were the guys results are in the AeroLab? Uh, the lowest numbers they've ever seen. The lowest and what numbers? The lowest drag numbers on a four seat uh, four-wheeled car that they have ever seen, by far. Ever seen? It was point in theory one six or in ever, production vehicle? Ever seen, ever seen. That says a lot. And the, one of the things he said, um, he said he really appreciated us being there because we gave him the tools to make a case that there's one more frontier. And Peter, you started it with your prize. There are five different aspects about this car that are a rethink of the car the way we know it. And they are completely paradigm changing. Wow. Oliver, I'm looking forward to your tremendous success. Thank, well, thank you, you. For, for stepping forward and taking the risk, because it was a big risk, wasn't it? It was a big risk, but the risk, I'm an intelligent guy. I don't spend millions I, of I dollars. I understand that, but still. You, Peter, <laughs> I mitigated the risk yeah. by ensuring that what we would design to win the X Prize, yep would also win in the marketplace. And that's, we love and that. It's not, having a museum piece is of zero interest to us. We had no intention of creating a museum piece. We already own three patents in this. We're gonna own probably another five or six before February. And uh, people will eventually recognize their value. It'll take time. Uh, agreed, so I have to say, thank you for stepping forward to win our second X Prize ever. Uh, we're, we're equally grateful to Progressive and to the teams, because without either of you, we wouldn't be here. So. Thank you very much, Peter. Thanks, pal. We'll put together a hell of a we'll, team. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.